How's it going there fellow junkies? It's Root Junkie here and today it's time to unlock the bootloader on the Nexus 9. I've had this thing for about a week. I can't believe I haven't done it yet. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to unlock the bootloader on this device which will give you freedom to install custom recoveries, root access, custom ROMs, all the fun stuff that we like to do on our Nexuses. So let's go try this out. Well, first things first, to unlock the bootloader, we have to do some things to the device. So to do them, we have to get into settings. So let's go ahead and get into settings. And you're going to want to go to about tablet right there at the end. And you're going to want to tap on your build number, you know, about eight, ten times until it finally says you no need, you are already a developer. Go back one screen and you should see right here developer options. So we all know if we've ever done this before, you want to turn on USB debugging, allow USB debugging and hit OK. Now, you're also on Android Lollipop, Android 5.0, you have to turn on a special setting here. You have to come over here, right here where it says enable OEM unlock. Allow device to be OEM unlocked. So that's very critical and you have to check that. Now I'd highly recommend when you're done unlocking your device, do not lock it again, ever. Because if something goes south and you have it locked, you can't push whatever you want to your device anymore because it won't accept you to push and flash stuff in fast boot because you'll have it locked. So just leave it unlocked and then you'll be you'll be good. It'll save you, trust me. Don't lock it again, just leave it unlocked. All right, so we've got our device set up. Uh, we're gonna have to go over to my computer and I'm gonna have to show you some files we're gonna download, some stuff we're gonna need, and uh, we'll get this thing unlocked. So first thing first is go ahead and take your USB cable and connect it to your device. Um, if your drivers don't automatically install, we can get you some drivers for it, but they should automatically install if you have Windows. So just go ahead and plug it in. There we go. And let's see what we have for drivers installing. So there you go. If you've ever installed anything at Google, it automatically found the ADB drivers very fast and installed them. Very simple, not hard to do at all. Besides that, you're going to have to download one of two things. Either the Android SDK, which you can see I have here, and then go to Platform Tools. Or, here's Android SDK, see? Here we go. SDK, Platform Tools, right here. Because you need to have this file and this file, ADBXE and Fastboot EXE for this to function. Or I can give you, um, if you don't have the Android SDK download, I can give you a folder which is the files you'll need. It'll be in the video description so that you can run the commands and we can unlock the bootloader. That being said, I also want to point out a little lollipop guy here at the top. That is just a notification telling you that uh, USB debugging is connected and functioning. All right, so drivers, everything's looking good. We're going to go ahead and run some commands. So to do this, we're going to hold shift on our computer and then right click. And this has to be in the folder that has your ADB and fastboot files. So I'm going to right click and say open command window here. All right, so I have my command window. From here, we're going to run some commands. And this should be a pretty simple process. So we're going to go ADB re, oh, let's do ADB devices, ADB space devices and hit enter and what we should get it says list of devices is zero we should have a pop-up here asking for approval on our device but we're not getting it so what I would do is I would go into settings and developer options and turn off ADB mm -hmm. debugging mm -hmm. and then I would turn it back on okay mm -hmm. And we should get a pop-up. Should happen asking for... Huh. 
It's interesting. It's not giving me a pop-up asking for approval. Let's just try changing some stuff and let some other drivers install. Here we go. There it is. That's the pop-up I'm looking for. So, hit OK. Or check that always from this computer and hit OK. Very good. Um, these drivers installed right, right here once I uh, did that. So, um, I will put it back to media device and it should still function like that. Let's go ahead and close this out. And let's go ahead and run that command again, ADB devices. Huh, that's interesting. It's only really working in camera mode. Let's go back to it. Try it again, ADB devices. Don't know why it's not working in media device, but in camera mode it is. It might vary for you, but I'm gonna leave it where it is because this is where I'm being able to give it ADB commands. All right, so we're gonna do ADB space reboot boot loader. Put enter. And your device is going to reboot into bootloader mode. This is the first time I've seen bootloader mode on my device, so this is pretty cool. Now, what's gonna happen here is again, you're going to have some drivers install, so you give it a second for those to install. Um, here's what mine look like. Android bootloader interface, so it has installed those drivers. To make sure that they're communicating correctly, we're going to go ahead and type in a command, fast boot devices, and hit enter. Again, you should come back with a number, and it should say fast boot. Now, just to see here, we have device status is locked right there at the top, and some HBoot information and how to navigate your menus. Okay, so to do this, we're going to type in fast boot space OEM space unlock, and then we're going to hit enter. Here we go. So, this is your warning. It talks about unlocking the bootloader and yada yada yada. Read your warning. I know what it's. Don't care what it says because I'm gonna do it anyway. So, unlock bootloader may void warranty. Now, um, also, not only does it may void your warranty, but it's also going to factory reset your device. So, if you don't want to do this, obviously hit volume down, and you don't want to factory reset your device. Um, I don't care, I'll just reset up things. The reset up process on Android uh, Lollipop is super simple and I love it, so I don't really care. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, hit volume up. And there we go. Now you can see Query 20 is not on my end. So it's checking for, diff for your options of what you're saying there on, in the command prompt. That's why you got all these things. If you did it faster, it wouldn't check so much, but. Um, no big deal. So here it went into recovery. This is erasing your device. This is the factory set that I talked about uh, that the device is going to do. Your command window is done. So we'll go ahead and close this out. And you are done on the computer. Let's just check out the device. All right. There you go. Um, right here it says in the top, device status unlocked. So from here, you are fully unlocked. You are good to rock and roll. Uh, what I would do is scroll down here to reboot and then hit the power button. So scrolling with your volume up and down and then power button to select reboot and you will be mm -hmm. unlocked and your device will boot up and it'll just be like you took it out of the box except you will have an unlocked bootloader. So there you go guys, the device has fully booted back up and we're back to setup. That's going to be it for me. That's going to be unlocking the boot roller on the Nexus 9. Uh, pretty simple process, not hard at all. A couple quick commands and you'll be rocking and rolling. Stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be on this device, hopefully. We're going to go ahead and get root access thanks to Chainfire. He has put together the files we need to do it. I'm going to put my own little spin on it, but it should be a fun video. So if you want root access on this device, you're going to get that very soon. Hopefully we'll have custom recoveries and awesome ROMs also coming. Can't wait for that. That's going to be it for me today. Follow, subscribe, check me out at RootJunkie.com, and we'll catch you guys later. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.